Yo guys, it's Captain Nell here today and we are back with Ark Survival Evolved episode 46. We are smashing through these episodes and I'd just like to say thank you for all the support and keep doing what you're doing boys. I just want to touch on a subject. Um, people are asking me in the comments like when is this ending? I don't know when it's going to end. Um, I feel like I've still got a lot to do. I want to tear more things. I want to breed more things. It's like I've only got one Rex. I haven't got like most, I haven't got some dinos, like, what haven't I got? Uh, I don't know what I haven't got, but I haven't got some stuff. And I want to, like, read a Rex for you guys. I want to tame a Giga for you guys. Like, I want to do more stuff. And then, obviously then, um, you know, I'm going to end it by trying to take on a Titan and solve all my dinos. But, boys, I don't, I don't want to rush this for you. I want it to be good. So, you know what I mean? Like, I... I don't know when it's going to end yet. I know we're 46 episodes in, but when it has ended, don't worry. I'm going to... We'll, leave, we'll do like a vote and we'll do like either the center or um, Scorched Earth and whatever you guys pick. When it comes to doing a new series, I'll do that map and we'll, we'll see, how, see, what, see what that series does. But yeah, boys, today I've got something a little different. I'm going to be talking. Um, if you're not a noob and you're not new to the game, you might as well turn this off now because I'm going to be doing a video on what to do and where to start if you're new to the game because obviously it's just come out on PS4 and you guys might be struggling over there so I'm going to tell you the basics, ins and outs if you don't know like what to tame first, where you should be, be out like where basically where like basically the bit of like tips and tricks on what to do when you're first starting out because this game is hard and it's torturous when you're first starting out we've all been there lads, we've all been there but yeah, boys, so basically, I don't know how many steps there's going to be. I'm just going to rule off a number of steps off the top of my head, what I think is helpful. So basically, boys, step one, you need to make a character and not be named Bob or Jane. Think of a cool name, like I'm Rambo. Something not too common either, like Bear Grylls or whatever. Something cool and out there. So then when you're in the chat, everyone's like, oh, yeah, look at that guy. He's hard. Do you know what I mean, boys? So yeah. Build a character, make him look good or stupid, however you prefer. Either not a Bob or a Jane. Net, no, step number two, you need to it pick. You need to pick a location where to spawn. Now, there's obviously there's a home island, and you can spot like it does tell you like easy, easy, medium, 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 medium and hard. Definitely, if you're starting out, spawn in the easy areas. Now, these aren't always easy. Um, sometimes you can spawn in and you can get attacked by Dillos, or there might be the odd Kana or the odd Raptor. I definitely, definitely recommend spawning in the easy zones when you're starting out. Otherwise, you'll probably get bummed by something that you don't want to get bummed by. Um, yeah, we won't touch on that subject because it's not very pleasant. But yeah, definitely spawn in the easy zones. Um, what else? So when, when once you've like spawned in, you'll probably want to. What I recommend is collecting like fiber, uh, berries, thatch, wood. So then collect the berries. So then you can put them in your hot bar. So when you're getting hungry, you can eat the berries. So then you won't die of starvation. And obviously, as you're collecting fiber, thatch, and wood, you can build uh, things out of thatch. Get like a little thatch uh, box going on. So you can. Then, so then you have somewhere to live, uh, to get some storage boxes in there, the small ones, and get a, make sure you get a bed in there. So if you do happen to get attacked by something, then you boys will have somewhere to spawn back rather than... Because if you don't have a bed, then you'll have to spawn in a random location again, and you'll have to like try and find your way back to your base. And obviously, if you are new, you're not going to know the map and where to go. So definitely, definitely make a bed as soon as you can. A simple bed. If you use the hide sleeping bag, that can be used once. So definitely, definitely recommend making the, um, what's it called? The hide sleeping something. The bed, the hide, no. The sleeping bed or something. I can't remember what it's called, but yeah, it's something. Not the hide sleeping bag, you want the one up from that. So once you've got your bed and you've got your storage boxes and you, you level it up a bit, I'd recommend moving on to making wood. Uh, like making your base out of wood, like just on a little beach somewhere, and I'm cold. Um, and what you'll want to do is, the first thing you'd probably want to tame is 
I mean, if you if you really want it, you can tame a dodo first, just so then you can get the grips of how taming works and like how the unconscious bar goes down. But the main oh, don't want to go over there. The main thing I recommend taming first is a trike. Um, now they do attack you one if you start hitting them, but if you just get on like a high rock or anywhere, they just literally go stupid and just stand there and let you hit them. So I'd rec I definitely recommend taming. A oh great. I definitely recommend taming a trike first because they get your berries and they get your thatch. And also, if you're running along collecting wood, you can put your wood onto the trike and you get more wood in, like so and, yeah, so and so. And then, once you've tamed your trike, uh, I think the saddle, you want the saddle, like. So it's, a, it's a low level, so you can ride it pretty much straight away and all that. So, once you've got your trike uh, and you probably have a few dodos, um, you, you probably want to like, get onto taming a pterodon, what I'm on now. These things are easy to tame. Um, you probably need a bit of narcotics uh, or, or narco berries. Narco berries will be useful um, if you haven't advanced that far into narcotics yet. Uh, you probably want to use narco berries. And all you need to do is to get one of these is literally make some bowlers, uh, trap it, because then once you bowler it, it won't be able to move. Um, and then just literally, with a by this point, you should have a bow and arrow with narco arrows. By this point, you should be able to shoot it in the face like two or three times and it'll go down literally two like after two or three shots to the face um and then literally just tame it with like raw meat or prime meat if you can get that and then but you need to be aware because the top pod does drop pretty fast on these um what they're called pterodons so you need to be aware of that because they don't eat very often so like you need to, you probably will need to give it some narco berries um so yeah then once you have your pterodon like literally, you can you're like free to fly the map. Like you can just go and explore wherever you want. Uh, so then that's useful. So then obviously when you're flying, you can explore the map and get to the grips of what's where and stuff like that, boys. And then so yeah, pterodon, easy tame, good tame. And then once you've like got your pterodon, you could probably like base scout. You probably search the map like I did beginning of my series, uh, and you could probably like scout for a good base location. So like I have. Uh, like obviously, if you want to, like, you come over and like, oh yeah, this looks cool. I want to build a base here, and then you can start building up here. And then obviously, getting a flying bird is like one of the best things about Ark. Oh, I'm falling. So yeah, it like it opens up a, such a massive that the, the, something for yeah. I can't say that word. It opens up a massive something that you can use, and then you know, obviously, you like obviously, then you can advance like I did. But yeah, boys, I definitely recommend getting a pterodon early on, getting a trike early on. Hello, Parasaurotherium. And then, basically, you're away. And then once you like find your base location of where you want to build, if you get that far, noobs. But noobs isn't offensive with Dory, boys. Bobs or Janes. Um, then you can start like t building up your big bases, building up your smart, nice bases. Getting on your smithies and your refining forges. I mean, if I was like starting out, I'd recommend building maybe near a mountain or something. So then you have easy access to metal. But you've got to be aware, like near mountains, there's also like arches and T-Rex and stuff. So you need to be like, be careful. But yeah, because uh, then obviously you are close to the metal. So boys, these are just like simple little things you could do starting out. And it'll get you like, get you to the big big good things like the because i hate restarting me like i think it is not fun like you get killed by everything you just you can't collect anything your weight's low like depending on what you're playing if you're playing like pve like i play you'll definitely want that weight up um i like to look at my stats these are my stats if you just want to pause the screen I've got like 200 health i mean i'm not gonna go through it all because you know what i mean uh, that's they're good stats for PVE, I'd say. You don't need that, like, because obviously you don't need to upgrade health, uh, not health, what about uh, food or water, because it's just the most pointless thing in the world. Whoa, I forgot about this thing. I won that. I crap myself. I've got a little fishing note here, boys. As well, just think like smart little things. You know what I mean, boys. Obviously, you're not so you can do what you want. But if you're on PVE, you're probably limited to what you can do because of alpha travel. Like, ah, no, you're not doing that. Ah, you can't build there. You can't build there. That's why I prefer to build on my own server on PvE, 
because then I wouldn't have people like, ah, oh, you can't build there and you can't build there and you can't raid me and you can't raid them, but if you do that, I'll raid you. Just pettiness like that I couldn't be dealing with. So I was like, yep, yeah, I'm just going to go on my own server. But maybe I might go back into PvP one day. Maybe we could record a net like a series Road to Alpha or something because we raid everyone and I don't know, maybe I could like join up with you guys and we could all join our own server, uh, join a server and join up as a tribe and just raid everyone. Maybe that would be pretty fun. But yeah, boys, I don't really know why I, what this episode's about. I'm just trying to give tips and tricks and you know what I mean? Barbara is falling down! But yeah, boys, just a few tips and tricks in it, really. Like, what the hell? I really want one of these dinos, mate. Whoa, the fast. I mean, look, look how fast it is. Are they faster than Barbara? Woo! What level is it? Please don't be 120. I can't even hit it! Level 44. I don't want one of them, me. Really, really bad. So, yeah, boys. Um, hello, Quetzel. Don't worry, boys. And as well, if you're still watching, I will be taming a Giga soon. Don't you boys worry. I'm going to find any. The next one I find, I will tame no matter what level it is. I mean, we don't need an amazing Giga. Um, I mean, I've never even tamed a Giga on my own, so it's going to be very, very fun. I mean, one mess up and I will be dead. The way I'm going to do it is, um, there is multiple ways, but the way I think I'm going to do it this time, I am going to get on Bird Bird, wherever that Bird Bird is. Bird Bird, I'm literally going to hover above it, shoot it in the face with Trank, and just hopefully it'll go down at some point in that day but yeah boys this is my base look uh for you little new starters i've got a tower that i've just recently built uh there's my dino house i've got loads of dinos in there over there that little shed there's where i'm like make my dinos breed and all that lot this is my main like my workshop here's my taming pen so yeah boys like this is what you can get into it's an amazing game Something as smart as this. I mean, it's not the best base. I've seen absolutely miles, miles, miles better bases. But I like it. I like this tower. I want to show you boys something as well, what I did at the top. I mean, I don't even know. I'm just wandering off into my own little world now. We're not even talking about tips and tricks. But yeah, this is what I did, right? So, you, know, you, you like it. Oh, I like this tower, me. Good. It's just like a simple tower that you guys could make. I mean, if you're on PvP... You could easily make this into like a war tower, just put like pillars, uh, just put like tower turrets and everything everywhere. Oh no, we need to go this way. Um, I need to show you like a little glitch as well, right? I've had to put ladders like this, look. Like ladders up there, because if I don't have this ladder here, I get stuck. Like I don't want to demolish it, because I don't, I can't, I won't be able to build another one. Are you going to let me climb up here? So like I get stuck on the top ladder, so I've had to like do that, which is really not smart. Um, so yeah boys, this is my tower, this is what I just thought I'd build, just for the video, and I like it. It's finished now, got like lights everywhere, and I've built this. I'm like Tom Daly, if you didn't know him, is a diver. It, this gives me like, it scares me in real life, like jumping off this. Are you ready? Three, two, one. What the hell was that? What the hell? What the hell was that? What the hell? My mum has killed a 116 raptor. Why did I just die? There's water below me. Huge disaster. What the hell? My mum has my mama just killed a 116 raptor. What? That doesn't make sense. Why is, there a, why is there a 116 raptor in my base? What the crap? I don't get it. I'm really, really confused. 116. I could have tamed that. You stupid mammoths. I don't get it. Why is everyone going... Eh? I'm confused. Did I have that in my taming panel or something? It just escaped. Boys, I'm really confused. Right, I need to go and jump off this tower again. I'm really confused. Where did that raptor come from? Nothing should be able to get in my base. I mean, it's a good job them mammoths are like that. Because that raptor could have killed someone. Imagine that. What's it? I, should, I must have had that raptor somewhere. I mean, have you had it somewhere? There's no way it would spawn. It wouldn't spawn it. It just wouldn't. I'm just really confused. 
about life right now. Boys, I know I'm not even doing tips and tricks anymore. I'm really sorry. I mean, if you came here looking for tips and tricks and I've only give you like one tip, I'm really, really sorry. I'm just in my own world at the minute and I want to jump off this thing and I need to go and recover my body. So hopefully this time I won't die. Right, boys, are you ready? Three, two, one. Oh, no. I need to get all right between here. Three, two, one. I should have made this. I should have made this. Please, please. Yes, we made it, boys. And there's my bag. Here we go. Don't you think that's scary? I think it is me. I get scared when I... Oh, I'm getting leached. I'm getting leached all over. So, yeah, boys. I, I, this is a good place to build. If you, if you don't... If you are new to the game and you want to... Um, you want to know where to build. I have got a base location video as well. So you can go and check that out. And I've also got, like, where to find certain dinos. The episode's called Fantastic Dinos. I went to find them. Do you know what I mean? I'm just copying Harry Potter, yeah? But you know what? YOLO and all that lot. But yeah, boys, this has been a really pointless episode. Sorry, guys. I'm just blabbering on and on and on. Uh, I'm sorry. Please don't hate me. I did a few tips and tricks. But yeah, boys been Captain Nell here and I love you all. Please don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more daily videos. Um, make sure you go and check out my Dead Rising 4 uh, playlist if that's the type of game... Oh, I've got another leech on me. If that's the game, type of game you've been to as well, go and show that some love and support. Make sure you tell your friends about my channel, send them over, and boys, I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.